Rider, welcome to my channel. Today, ang i-discuss ko sa inyo ay tungkol sa isa sa mga lessons sa English 9, Quarter 1, Week 2, Module. And uh, this is about normal and inverted word order. I decided to use this video kasi uh, I noticed that this was not thoroughly explained in the module. Hindi ito masyadong naipalawanag. Hindi masyadong napagtuunan ng pansin. Kaya para maintindihan ng ating mga estudyante, I decided to use this video to help our students understand this topic. But before that, siyempre, if you are new in this channel, please don't forget to like, subscribe, and click the notification bell in order to be updated with my new videos. And of course, please share also. Now, let us proceed with this lesson. First, what is normal word order? Ano ba itong sinasabing normal word order? When we say normal word order, it is the arrangement of words. Ito yung pagkakaayos ng mga salita in a sentence. Wherein subject comes first, naunang subject before the verb or any part of the verb. Example, my friend is happy. Now in this sentence, naunang subject na friend followed with the verb is. Okay. Next. What is inverted word order? Ano ba itong tinatawag na inverted word order? Now, when we say inverted word order, it is the arrangement of words. Pagkakaayos ng mga salita in a sentence. Wherein the verb or any part of the verb comes first before the subject. Kabalik taran ito ng normal word order. Dito, nauna ang verb o anong bahagi ng verb bago ang subject. Say, this, for example, are you enjoying the show? Our helping verb is are, nauna siya, helping verb. Followed with the subject you, and then followed with the main verb which is enjoying. Now notice, nasa gitna dito ang subject. Nauna ang helping verb, nasa gitna ang subject, and then followed with the main verb. Alright. Now, when do we use inverted word order? Kailan ba natin pwedeng gamitin itong inverted word order? Okay, first, inverted word order is used in forming questions. Ito, dito kadalasan ginagamit sa mga questions. Like for example, Ben is excited to join the trip. This is under normal word order. Now, if we are going to transform this into question, it's, it's going to become like this. Uh, by the way, this is how it is formed. As dito sa normal word order, Ben is our subject. And then, helping verb is is, followed with the main verb, excited. By the way, our verb phrase is, here is excited, composed of helping verb is, and the main verb, excited. Okay, if we are going to transform the sentence into question, it's going to become like this. Is Ben excited to join the trip? This is inverted form. Now, una, ay itong is, which is our help, helping verb. And then, followed with Ben, which is our subject. And then, followed with excited, which is our main verb. Now, notice again, nasa gitna dito ang subject, nasa unang helping verb, nasa ulian ang main verb. Okay, remember that. Another example, she plays part in the drama. This is the normal word order. If we are going to transform this into question, it is going to become like this. Does she play part in the drama? Now, notice here, dito sa normal word order, ang verb natin ay itong place, ay may S, because our subject is third person singular. Of course, we, we need to use is her. But, in the inverted form, notice here, nawala na rito ang S dito sa play. The reason is, we use the helping verb does. Now, the rule is, Whenever you use the helping verb does in a sentence, the main verb will no longer need s in its last part. Dito sa play, mawawala na ang s. So, it's just like this. Does she play part in the drama? Now, if we're going to analyze this uh, inverted, inverted form, does is our helping verb. And then our subject is she. And then our main verb is play. Alright. So, nasa gitna ang subject. Nasa unahan ang helping verb. And then nasa hulihan ang main verb. Okay. 
Another use of inverted word order is it is used when using adverb with negative meaning. Say, for example, never, seldom, rarely, scarcely, hardly, etc. That is at the beginning of the sentence. Say, for example, seldom does a high-ranking authority admit mistake. Okay. Now, if we're going to analyze the sentence, our helping verb here is does. So, nauna siya. Followed with our subject, which is high-ranking authority. And then, followed with our main verb, which is admit. Okay. Now, notice again, our subject is in the middle between the helping verb and the main verb. That is, if you are in the inverted form. Now, another example. Never will I make that mistake again. Never is our adverb in the negative form. Our helping verb is will. Our subject is I. And then, our main verb is make. All right. Now, another example. Not on my watch would I let this thing happen. Again, the word not is an adverb which depicts negative idea. So, if we are going to analyze the sentence, it's going to be like this. Would is our helping verb. I is our subject, and let is our main verb. Okay. Next, number four. Inverted word order is also used after the word here and there. Okay, but note, helping verb or auxiliary verb is no longer used in this case. Hindi na, hindi na rito kailangan ang mga helping verb or auxiliary verb. By the way, as I've said, remember that helping verb and auxiliary verb are just the same. Pariho lang yun. Okay, our example is here. Here comes the visitor. Okay, our verb is comes. Wala tayong helping verb. Okay, and then our subject is visitor. Now, another one is there stood Mary. Waiting for our arrival. Okay. Now, our verb here is stood and our subject here is Mary. Again, we do not have helping, helping verb or auxiliary verb in this sentence. Now, before we end this video, I have here uh, a short quiz. Five, uh, only five items and uh, this will determine if you have learned something in this lesson. I'm going, going to give you just a few minutes to answer this and afterward we are going to check your answer. Number one, everybody is present today. Number two, my contribution is here. Number three, she never comes late at meetings. Number four, I know the answer. And number five, the mall is over there. All right, as I have said, the purpose of this quiz is to check kung meron kung kayo ay natuto dito sa video ito. And uh, you can use this video in understanding your module. As I've said, I use this video only because uh, the part in the lesson which tells about normal and inverted word order is not discussed thoroughly. Hindi na ipaliwanag ng mabuti sa module. Kaya ko ito ginamit dito sa video. Alright, let, let us now check your answer. Number one, is everybody present today? The sentence starts with the helping verb is followed with the subject, everybody, and in the main verb, the main verb, present. Number two, here is the sentence begin with, with here and then followed with the helping verb is. I mean, this is not 
functioning as a helping verb, but main verb, main verb. And then the subject contribution. Number three, a sentence begins with never, followed with the helping verb does, and the subject she, and then the main verb come. Number four, a sentence begins with the helping verb do, and then the, the subject I, and the main verb no. And number five, over there is followed with the verb is, all right? I hope you have learned something in this video. In my next video, I'm going to upload the part in the lessons in the module, which is not uh, discussed thoroughly. Ito ay para makaroon ng uh, malinaw na kaalaman ang mga estudyante doon sa mga part sa module na hindi masyadong naipaliwanag sa, I mean, sa module. Alright? Thank you very much for watching. See you again.